Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about how to add an admin to the admin console. So there are different type of admin roles that you can provide to an individual and that way he will have different rights on the admin console. So first we will go to add admin over here and just type the email address. So this is the new admin which I'm trying to add. And now if you can click on next, so there are these type of admin types uh, of that you can add on the admin console. So the system admin, you can call it as a super admin and this type of admin is allowed to perform all kind of administrative tasks on the admin console. So this admin has the power or permissions to add another admin, to delete an admin, to add users, remove users, uh, user group. So he has uh, full control on the admin console. So if you give uh, this particular admin right as a system administrator, he should be able to control everything on the console. So the second admin we have uh, is the product administrator. So we have different product profiles and uh, the profiles like all apps plan, document cloud, Adobe Spark. So if you do not want a person to have full control on all the admin console, you can you just want him to take care of the product profile. So for example, you have a big school and you want uh, the ABC person to take care of Adobe Spark profile and he should be able to manage only Adobe Spark like you can add users and remove users. So for that, you can give him a product administrator. So over here, if you if I click on the label, uh, it will ask me which product profile I want this particular admin to add to. So if I click on that, if for example, if I go to all apps plan, so now the product administrator will have this administrative rights on this. So means uh, he can create product profiles under this all apps plan. Uh, he can add users and user groups, he can remove users and even he can re uh, remove the product profiles as well. So anything for this product profile, he should be able to manage. Uh, if you're giving rights for product administrator, then he can only control that particular product. He will not have access to all the other products, what we have on the console. Uh, so now we go to the product profile administrator. So the product profile administrator, like I mentioned, there are different products and within the products, we have product profiles as well. So if I do not want a user to give rights to the whole product, like for example, I have uh, five profiles inside my product and in a school, I have different sections, like there is a laboratory, there is chemistry, physics. So I just want to, give him the rights to manage only one profile. So I can give him product profile administrators. So for example, when I click on this box, it's asking me which product and checking all apps plan 80 GB. It will ask me which product profile I want to give him administrative rights. So right now in K12, I have only one product profile. If there are multiple product profiles, then it will give me the option to choose. Uh, so if I, choose this one. So this particular user I add as a product profile administrator, he can only administer uh, that particular product profile. He will not have rights to make changes to any other profile or to any other product. plan. So if you add him to that particular product profile, he can add users and he can remove users as well. So the same thing you can say for the user group administrator as well. Uh, like you can create multiple user groups and you can add multiple users or user groups. Accordingly, if you want an admin to take care of the user groups, not anything else on the console, you can add him as a user group administrator and it will be in the drop down. It will give you an option to choose which user group you want him to give him rights. For example, if I add him to this user group so he should be able to add or remove users from that particular user group and he can also add or remove user group admins like he can add some more admins to the user group if he wants so he is only responsible for that particular user group now 
if we talk about the deployment administrator so deployment administrator take care of the software packages and the updates so his role is to create packages uh, wherein he can uh, include multiple products based on the requirements of the end users and he can create package and he can deploy on the end user machines now if in this case uh, there is if there is a new update available for adobe products he can again go to the deployment tab and he can create a new package which include the updates as well so his main role is to create package and give it to the administrator or just deploy these packages to the end user machines and the last admin role we have is the support administrator so support administrator is not completely a big admin role but it has access to support related information on the admin console so for example there are a set of users who are facing problem with adobe photoshop so if someone is added as a support administrator he will have access to the support tab and he can create cases or instances on the support tab once you create a case on a uh, support tab adobe will get a notification that this particular organization has created this support case and someone from adobe team will get back to that administrator or any user as a support administrator he can chat with adobe agents he can create a support case he can also raise expert sessions so these are all the type of admin rights which you can so if i click on next uh, over here it's giving me basic information i have given uh, to this admin type and summary so summary is the support administrator i'm trying to add uh, to this particular user so if i click on save uh this particular user will be added on the console so as you can see abc test has been added and this is all about uh the admin roles so hope you understand